Alright, so it's a sunny day here in late April and we're generating some watts from our solar panels. And we're at, uh, you know, typically in the, the nights these days, we're only getting down to like 60 or 50% on these batteries. If it's a nice sunny day the day before and we're just charging right up, you know, we'll get, we'll get uh, up to 2000 watts midday. Um, it's still a little early, late uh, mid morning, but so we're just kind of cooking here. And we had the four circuit transfer switch um, the nature's generator one and, and again here's the transfer switch so we got the furnace living room fridge and laundry on it now we upgraded to this uh, gentran 10 circuit one um, so we've got the top 10 circuits from uh, our breaker panel on it um, <clears throat> these top two breakers were not working when I got it. I got it used, so I just replaced those. Um, and I just put the sump pump on it, so I mark that. But pretty much all the main things in the house, you know, the kitchen, the bedrooms, you know, even the garage, I got that on there, um, which is nice. And the only main thing is the hot tub. That's the main thing. And the dishwasher is the other one that uh, I may want to put on it. Could, you know, save some water from that, but that's what's going on for now. And here's the powerhouse here. Remember, and the batteries, 48 volt. You can see they're both charging up in parallel with each other. So they'll both hit 100% together and they'll float probably around midday, early afternoon, they'll be floating and the charge controller. And we'll go to the Victron app to check out. So right now we're getting 1300. 70 watts from the panels. Now check the history from the last few days. So you can see we just floated. So all we needed was, you know, eight, six watts. And so we have plenty of solar panel power, more than we need out of those 10 circuits. Um, yeah, it's good stuff. We'll do the microwave, that's probably the biggest draw. So you're pulling 1900 watts. But it's hands on it just fine. Even with other things running too. So I've gained I used, went through like 23, almost 2400 kilowatt hours. This is saying 2500. Um, that is fed through the charge controller. And this is saying that's what I've been used to put through the inverter. Um, but yeah, I was gonna, you know, make an update when I got to 1000, but here we are. We, we got to 1000 like last summer. And we got to, you know, almost to two, and then we probably just went through two over the winter when it was slower. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. Here is uh, checking DTE. So there's my current bill for May. Um, 37 bucks there. And then we're going to go to check out the energy usage for the last month. And so here's what's going on. So we've we were using about, you know, five kilowatts, kilowatt hours a day. And once I turned off the hot tub, there we go, I went down to 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0.2. Then I turned it on, we had the cousins over, so it went up to 23 kilowatt hours that day. But just to get up to, to temp, because it was down in the 70s. 
and then to get back, you know, then it's been maintaining, it hasn't been too bad. Um, not sure what these days were there, but um, now we're back down to three and four. Those must have been some days where we had to use the air conditioner, it got hot. But there we are. And you can see if I go back to March. Back, you know, we were up in the teens, you know, almost 10, you know, depending. Before we started getting much sun, then in April, you know, it started going down a little bit. We'll go up to turn around. So there we are, we're going to try to keep it down as well as we can.